Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing of the AR8010T HL aircraft telemetry receiver from Spectrum. So this is one of those new telemetry receivers Spectrum quite recently um, released. And the cool thing about those is that you get VBAT monitoring and other cool features right with only this receiver without using the TM1000 telemetry module you usually, ha you usually had to use. And since I just has, have it here, let's go through the specs. It's H channel, it does DSMX and DSM2, 2.4 gigahertz, obviously. And telemetry is in integrated, resolution 2048, dimensions, we will check this layer, weight 17.8 grams, we will check this as well. And the input voltage, that's pretty cool, 3.5 to 9 volts, so you can basically run 2S um, with this receiver. Okay, so let's take a look in here. We have a little manual, won't read that. Now let's get to it. So like most of the bigger receivers, it comes with the satellite. So you can get the orientation, like, um, like perfect, no matter what orientation your model has. Then we have the Webot cable. You can basically, I think it's up to 50 volts, so even 12 is, you can straight um, hook this up to the battery. So let's check this out. It says, I'm not sure you can read it. It says RPM, X bus, temp, and volt. So let's put it in here. That's where it goes. And then this uh, goes to the main battery. What's new about those receivers? They have now a bind plug. Um, sorry, they don't have a bind plug. They do have bind written in here, but they also have a bind button. So that's pretty nice. As you can see, two antennas. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And let's hook this up here as well. So we get a total weight measurement of the different Support so you can see we can hook up to three satellites to this. So let's measure the weight with everything 25.68 grams. If you remember what did it say here, 70.8 grams. I guess that's just without everything. Well, yeah, mine is a little bit heavier, <laughs> that's for sure. 18.81 gram. So then let's put this away and get some size measurements. So it says, let's check the width. So 28.61 millimeters. Here it says 28.3, slightly bigger. Then let's make this here. 20.86 millimeters and it says 20.9. Okay, so that's pretty spot on. Then we have this dimension here. I'm not counting the antennas. 48.949 and it says 48.5, so it's slightly bigger than that. And if you count for yeah, the antennas without bending them, it's more like 55 and then you have to calculate that you have the wires coming out of it as well from the servos. Okay, yeah, let's just measure the sub as well. If you're doing it right now. So also light width 20.36, height 6.17, and length without the connector is 44, well, that's totally screwed. Screw, what did I do now? Oh, I think I killed the battery. 
I guess. <laughs> so much for the unboxing. Super weird. Let's give it a try. So it's 26.1 millimeters. And if we calculate for wires and connector. Yeah. Yeah. I go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And see you in the next unboxing.